Alright, so here is my Pentium D processor with the cooler. The Pentium D processor just came in today. And I uh, have this Dynatron cooler here. And here, you, it's hard to see, but because my camera sucks, but as you can see, it has screws on it instead of push pins. So, my assumption is is that you put it on this back plate here so yeah oops about dropped it there uh, but yeah and then here is the CPU of course there's no possible way you're gonna be able to read it cuz I can't even read it but um, it's a Pentium D 3.4 gigahertz per core it's a dual core so yeah, socket 775 and all that, and this is just a mouse, nothing important, so, yep, I will be getting to installing that, whatever this little thing is, do not eat or throw away, lovely, or, no, it does say throw away, <laughs> and uh, here's a little plastic it came in, nothing fancy, but yeah, that's all I wanted to do is make a quick video about this processor, hope to have it in here pretty soon. Before I go, I wanted to go ahead and make a quick note of this cooler. So this is that Dynatron cooler I just showed off. Just kind of wanted to show it off a little more. As you can tell, I guess you put the uh, back plate on once you mount this in with the CPU. And there's a little bit of thermal paste. Um... And like I said, it has screws on the top, as you can see, sort of. There's screw heads and such. Comes with this little wire. That's just lovely. And, uh, and there was the back plate again. So I assume it just screws on that, well, screws on one of those ways. <laughs> anyway, that's all I had to add.